You know, when you think of MacDill, you may think of the aerial refueling tankers, those KC-135s that keep our warplanes flying all over the world. But what you may not know is that most of the people who fly and work on those planes have to train on the shooting range, along with a lot of other people there on the base. Fox Retreats Lloyd Sowers tonight with an exclusive look at why they shoot. Hey, strikers, is the line ready? Line is ready. Fire! It's combat arms training at MacDill. But they're not just shooting for fun. They're required to have firearms training for overseas deployment. People like Elizabeth Balacero, an Army computer specialist. As you see the news, uh, what's going out there, so you can never... This should never be taken lightly. In Afghanistan, for instance, at least three American service members have been killed this year by what were believed to be friendly Afghan soldiers. In an ever more dangerous world, protecting our forces is even more critical. On the left side of your weapon, you have your select lever. The instructors at MacDill are Air Force, but the base has every branch of service working at CENTCOM and SOCOM, along with some civilian employees, and they all train side by side. It's serious. <laughs> When we instruct students, we do it with the mindset that they are going to experience something and they are going to have to rely on the skills that we're training them. Depending on their job in the military, they train with a 9mm pistol, the M4 rifle, or both. 30 round magazine, okay? The training is a requirement to go overseas, but also a comfort to service members like Elizabeth, who knows danger isn't always limited to the front lines. The more I think, the more you practice it here or shoot it, get used to it, familiarize yourself with it, the better you'll be when you go forward. With skills they hope never to use, but trained in case they have to. Boyd Towers, Fox 13 News.